of a document if you if you uh, want uh, to answer me uh, okay it's okay and the second part is it's just a uh, question a uh, random question uh, whatever topic and, and without uh, any reason i just want uh, to know if, if the structure is correct okay Okay, so the first one. Uh, where did you spend your last vacations? Mm. So you can answer it, yes. Yes? Yeah, you can answer it, yes. Where did you spend? Yeah. Mm. I answer? Yeah, yes. Okay. I was in Canada for one week. Uh, I was in two places, in Toronto and Vancouver. Okay. Okay. And the second one, uh, when is your birthday? Uh, September 18. September 18. Yes. And my birthday is on 22nd of September. 30 seconds? Oh, oh we're so close! <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence! <laughs> okay. Uh, and, we, uh, and this question is for you. Where will you spend your next, next vacations? Okay. Uh, yes, it's a very good question to answer. But uh, you know, in fact, uh, um, means I don't wait for my vacation most of the time because every month I go out I go out of oh. my city yeah it's my you know passion it's my hobby it's my nature so most of the time means every week every mean last of every month I go oh. out by my car because I like driving also, so I enjoy the nature, surroundings and all during my driving. So it's my hobby. So I haven't, I haven't decided yet that where I'm going to enjoy my okay. next vacation. But let's see where I go. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, I don't have any plans because I have... I, uh, uh, it was a good time ago, so so I, I don't have any plans for this year uh, until maybe Christmas, but just with the with the family. That's all. Okay. And um, how long does it does it take for a beginner be good in English? To be. To be beginner to be. To okay. be good in English. To be good in English. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it depends on the person who is going to learn English. That how much time he is going to take to be good in English. Because actually, if if the if the person uh, has knowledge of basic things, basic grammars and can make a structure to speak any sentence then he or she is going to take uh, maybe one month or two months to be good in English or otherwise if you really want to be an expert there is no time because it's a very long or you can say it's a long life process to learn yeah. okay yeah. But, yeah, but one can have working knowledge. Yeah. Okay. But so, to be what was the, yeah. your student uh, who more time I spent with you? What was your student? The last, uh, how long uh, does it take for, you, for your student, for example, uh, one year, two years? How long? This yeah, yeah. actually, some yeah. As I told you last time, actually, you know, uh, some of my students uh, whom I taught earlier, they took one month, sometimes thirty lessons or sixty lessons, ninety, 
it depends actually but sometimes you know very few of the students they even don't complete their 30 lessons they oh. they pay me for 30 lessons but they uh, hardly take only 20 lessons and after that they stop they disappear uh, oh, okay. and I try to contact them but they don't come online it happens maybe some problems with them I don't know but uh, it happens well, very few of the times not every time but uh, most of the students they take 30 to 60 lessons to be very good in English because actually you know uh, speaking is a different part but writing because when you speak something you may commit mistake nobody is going to hold your tongue that you have yes. spoken that wrong or wrong nobody is going to point you out when you speak sorry but you know when you write something it is there in written so any mistake can be pointed out easily yeah. you have written that sentence wrong it should be like this like this so you should have very good command over grammar also while writing okay. so if you want to be good in English otherwise speaking is not a very big thing because you so, you, speak. so you think that it's more complicated to write down than uh, speaking? Yes, because actually speaking, you know, a child can speak anything. A child who is born in a family and when the child starts speaking. Because you know the child, what that child does after he is born or she is born, just listening to the people around him because that time the child doesn't know how to speak and the child just uh, keeps listening to the people around him but when he starts speaking then he is able to speak the language which is spoken in his family or her family because listening is very important thing to uh, be fluent in that particular language but that child cannot write but child can speak that language like you speak Spanish so when a child is born in your family the child is able to speak Spanish after one year or when he is just one year old or one and a half year old he can speak Spanish but I cannot speak because I am not in that atmosphere I am not listening Spanish but if I am keep listening Spanish for sometime for one month or two months or if I am in that atmosphere where Spanish is spoken I too can speak later so speaking is easier and writing yeah getting my point but writing yes. is you write you should have proper knowledge of grammar and everything means there, okay. should, there me you can minimize your mistakes while writing if you know grammar or if you have command over grammar or rules not all the rules but simple rules like how you use you know the use of may might can could would shall should must these are models so you should have means uh, at least working knowledge of grammar also to write good english that is my I means opinion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Speaking is okay. You should be fluent in English. But writing is also very important if it is important for you to write something. If you think that writing is uh, not uh, the part of your job or uh, your means if you don't have to write much then it's okay. But if you think that you have to write emails or you have to write letters like this then it should be uh, up to the mark me it should be not perfect but it should be good okay i agree with that so next yeah. uh, the number five uh, what was the last book you read uh, 
definitely it's a good answer it's very common answer to that means if you ask that question anybody i think the people they are going to answer in that way only that they want to pay their debt first and after that they want to help their family members relatives and all and uh, they want to see their brother and sisters parents happy so like this means it's a very simple and uh, common and good answer you can say but in my way of thinking it is little different if you want me to speak i can speak on that okay yeah because actually yes yeah, like uh, money is very important uh, money plays you can say money plays a very important role in anybody's life means without money it's difficult for anyone yes. to survive so money is important but money is not everything it's my opinion uh, that's true actually, absolutely because actually you should have money right you should be rich but of course you have to make your own efforts you have to work hard to be rich it's okay you should work hard to be rich but you don't try to work hard at the cost of your health or at the cost of some other things means like uh, at the cost of your health at the cost of the time means if you are busy all the time from morning to evening uh, to earn money it's it's not good actually life is uh, life should be balanced means you should have time for everything in your life like means if it's the time for you to eat you should pay attention to it and you should prepare food for yourself that should be good for you for your health so you should focus on that but if you focus on earning money and you are not paying attention to your food or even you miss your lunch or you miss your dinner or breakfast or whatever because you have to go to meet someone to finalize the dealing to earn money or whatever it means there should be a balance if it's the time for you to take rest or to sleep you should sleep and that time everything should be out of the mind but if you are keeping that thing in your mind oh in the morning i have to meet that person to finalize that deal or whatever it's not good me yes don't just focus on that only focus on earning money you should be focused to earn money but balance should be there if it's the time for you to enjoy enjoy forget everything else means if you are taking bath you should enjoy taking bath i mean to say that me but what we do when we are taking bath we think of the office yes we are taking bath but we are thinking oh, i have to do that in the office i have to check check the email i have to answer that i'll answer them in that way we are thinking of the office but when we are in the office we are thinking of the home <laughs> it happens <laughs> yeah it's very it's very common practice so if we want to enjoy our life we should uh, enjoy the activity which we are involved right now if you are eating we must enjoy it we must enjoy food we must chew our food many times 32 times at least before we swallow it we yeah. chew 32 times before we swallow it it is good for health so we are enjoying the taste even close your eyes to enjoy the taste of the food you are eating so that should be done but what we do we are eating what talking about some business that's not good in my culture it is said that if you are having food don't talk to anybody so you should be quiet yeah you should be quiet or you should have food quietly even 
even if you ask your wife or someone to give you some food during eating, don't speak. Just ask them by gesturing like, don't speak anything. Nothing is means no speaking, no words are allowed to speak during. But people speak these days because they think they are modern. But this is not my culture to speak during eating. But I have seen the people that think oh, it's very nice to talk while eating. I have seen most of the people if you go to any restaurant or any hotel, they are talking about different topics or they are eating but it's not good. Because that food is not going to build your body. You are eating, you are just filling up your stomach. But that food is not going to have an effect on your body. So that okay. is my thinking. So what I mean to say, you should have the balance in your daily life. Means eating, taking bath, taking rest, or enjoying your life, talking to your family members, whatever. There should be a balance. You should not be busy doing your work only that I am busy, I am making money, I am the don't be money making machine. That I mean. and don't tell me you tell me something like that. <laughs> Did I speak means last sentence? Uh, yes. Don't be money making machine. Uh, money making machine. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't be money making machine. Be a human being. Yes. I will tell you a very good story later on, not now. That you see the animals, they are happier than the human beings. Why? You know? The animals, they are happier. They are happier than the human beings. They are happier than we are. You know why? I'll tell you the secret. <laughs> I'll tell you the secret. Why they are happier than we are. I mean, they are not engineers. They are not doctors. They are not engineers. <laughs> but they, they are very happy. They are, they are not earning money. But they get food. They are enjoying their life. Yeah. <laughs> if they have if the dog, if the, if the cat uh, has a uh, food, they are happy with that, just with that. They don't need uh, anything else. Even, I am not talking about the pets. Even the animals in the forest, they are also happy. The wild, the zebra. Yeah, they get food. Even yes. If, one, if any day, if they don't get food, they are not sad. No problem. But the second day they again go to search food because they are connected with that Almighty. So when you are connected to that Almighty, you are not worried. But when you think that you are doing everything yourself, you are in problem. But when you are connected to that Almighty, you oh, whatever I am doing, it is his order or whatever the result is that is his wish getting so yes yes, yes. the key is focus and all that journey uh, once once it is in uh, it, uh, the key work is focus and what are the key uh, in that moment right yes you don't, you don't, you don't need to think in, 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 in anything else because the time is going to happen and, and, and maybe two hours you're going to do it, uh, anything else. So in that time you can focus on that. But you don't are thinking about the past or another task in your, yes, yes. in your home. Right? Yes. Okay, so. Next day. Uh, next, it's six. Yes. Seven. What, what do you recommend me 
very good on words, but uh, she she was talking about uh, the things that she found uh, when she read the song, so or when she got to the beach. So. Could you wait for five minutes? Yeah, no, don't worry. Yeah, just so don't stop. I am just coming back. Huh? Yeah, yeah, take your time. Yeah. Have you? No. Did you start to teach it? Has it happened to you? Have you? Uh, did you actually? Because this is past, okay. So did you start teaching in a school? Yes. Yeah, I started teaching in a school. And where was that? Yeah, it's a very long story again to explain it to you that how I started teaching and even uh, uh, how I learned English. This is also a very long story. <laughs> yeah. the, the how I started learning or how I learned. Yeah. Uh, and your... And your education, and your basic education, uh, did you learn English or you have to learn other kind of schools or by your own, for example? Yeah, actually, my schooling, my schooling was in a school which was Hindi medium school, not English medium. Because Hindi is my mother tongue. Yeah. So, I had, means my schooling in a school, in a Hindi medium school. So, after my schooling means my English was not very good. So, even I got uh, engineering means I got admission in engineering. I passed Bachelor of Engineering, BE. You know BE? A bachelor of Engineering. Bachelor of Engineering. Yeah, so that is, that is a degree. So yeah. I, I uh, means I did civil engineering. Oh, yes. really? Yeah. So um, that time when I was in uh, engineering, uh, the subjects means all the subjects were in English. And, but my English was not very good, so it was very difficult means uh, for me to understand what the lecture was delivering. So, what did you do? Yes, <laughs> it was very difficult situation for me. So that time means I started learning English myself by a lot of means, and I improved. So, yeah, you really improve. <laughs> yeah. I started reading newspaper, I started watching TV programs and all like this. So that way I improved. Okay, that was a, a, a good example. Uh, have you taught English to children? Uh, yes, in the beginning, yes. Not now. Not now. Now I don't teach children. In the is it difficult? Is it difficult to teach to the children? I uh, not difficult, but uh, I don't feel comfortable. You can say. No? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because they are thinking another way, right? They are not uh, yeah. because uh, that, if they are very small, if they are kids, they don't take it seriously. They just make fun and all. So it is difficult to teach them. So they are always playing. Yeah. Even I okay. taught in a school actually. So uh, I like to be. Uh, with children. Yeah. I like children very much. I like to be with children. To be? Yeah, to be with children. Okay, okay, yeah. to be with children. I like the company of children. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like 
when they come when they have children because they are always playing. Yeah, so that's why you you become a child with them. Yeah. <laughs> you yes. forget everything else. Okay, so and you will read it with these questions and you have to for children but, but have you ever felt English from scratch to somebody who spoke a different language? Not English. Different language. Have you ever taught English from scratch to somebody who? Oh. Mm, no. 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 <laughs> have you ever tried? I, I can teach. Yes. I can teach a person uh, who speaks different language from scratch, but it, it will take a very long time. I can teach, no problem. But if, 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 if these people uh, doesn't speak any English? Yeah, no problem. I can teach them. Really? Because I learned all these things in a training program, so it's not uh, a problem for me, but it's a challenge. Because uh, uh, I can teach by actions and all these things. Like suppose, if suppose I say, uh, I, I start teaching them like suppose I say, first of all if they don't know even A, B, C, D. Yeah. But, but I expect them to know these alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, A, B, C, D. Yeah, if they know A, B, C, D, then I just simply say I, I, then I, then they know it is I, then I just can uh, explain it to them by saying that I means I. Yeah, okay. Like a person. Yeah, <laughs> just make like a person. <laughs> yeah, action and all these things are uh, needed there. But it's difficult. Yeah, a little, a little, right? Yeah, but I don't like to teach uh, such people now. Yeah, okay. Because, because there is no need for me to work hard with them because I have already got students from you know, uh, different countries who want to improve their English. They know English, but they want to improve like you. Like, yeah. uh, two more people I have got these days, they are from Brazil. And they are pilots, captain. So, they yeah. are also preparing for... Uh, to get through the interview. Okay, so you prefer uh, that kind of classes when uh, when uh, we need to improve and learn not from the scratch. I uh, and I can understand perfectly. It, it, it must be very difficult to try to do it. Very stressful to, to try to explain some some basic things to somebody who uh, doesn't know anything. Yeah, it's difficult. It yeah. requires time consuming and it will take a long, long time because pro progress uh, may be very slow. Yeah, yeah. very slow. Yeah. Okay, and um, what are the most beautiful things in your country? Because I was uh, looking uh, for some, some of them on the internet. I wasn't sure if uh, in India were with uh, I can I can tell you. I, I didn't know the uh, geography of the country. So I have to, to look for, for some places. And I can see that you, uh, your country is surrounded by the ocean. So, you have a lot of beaches, right? Yeah, we have beaches in Mumbai, you know, Mumbai, Chennai, and uh, in some other parts, Calcutta, and in Gujarat also. So, there are several beaches. So, the people go there and they enjoy. So, they, are, they lie down on the beaches and all, they enjoy <laughs> eating and something like that. So, there are places, there are many places in India. Are they, are they uh, beautiful? Are, uh, are you, uh, tourists go there or just uh, people from, the, from India? It's just one more people. No, no, foreigners. Yeah. Even, uh, 
like uh, yeah the tourists come to these places like I, I saw some pictures uh, where people got like a flaky or something like that and i can see many people uh, black uh, sorry white people uh, singing uh, uh, there but it looked like a people <laughs> like well, here, here we can see a lot of that kind of people, like a hippies in Sueda, like the 70s or something like that, uh, people who like to live on the beach, right? The hippies means that the people in 70s, they had, they, <laughs> they had long hair and all. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can I mean, see that in the picture. It is very old word actually, hippies, and I heard that word from you. After a very, very long time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. He is very common to love to somebody or, or something like that. Some people who, who dress yeah. is in, in that way. But that, that era, you can say that time was very nice, 70s. Yes, yeah, of course. It was very good actually, the movies, the culture, the people. Uh, it was very cool and uh, you know, that was a very cool time in the world, the 70s yeah. time, that there was no problem in the world that time. People were very happy. In I love freedom. freedom. Yeah. In, in, uh, and because there was, uh, you know, there was no mobile, there was no internet, nothing was there. So what people did, they used to come out of their home in the evening. They used to sit all together discussing the different topics. It was the routine of the people. But, yeah. these days, but these days the people, they come back from their office and they are closed inside their home. Yes. That means they are not socialized. They, no. don't, they don't go out to talk to people or to uh, discuss the things on different topics. But, yeah, that even that time, but that, that time was very good because I remember that time, 70s, I was not very old that time, I was just 5 or 6 or 7 year old that time, so, but I remember that my parents and the neighbors, they, they used to sit together in the evening outside of the home to discuss the things because there was no TV, there was no, there was nothing like that, so. Not uh, not technology zero. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So, I think that time was very good. Even the people uh, didn't have cars in their home that time. Yeah, people didn't have cars, you know cars. The people didn't have cars in their home that time. Ah, yeah, 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 cars. Only bicycle, only bicycle. Yeah, bicycle, there, there were cars, there were uh, some drums, yeah. uh, and they play music, acoustic music, just that and were uh, talking and nothing else. Yeah, so that time was very good actually. Yeah, the hippie time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so the, uh, your country has uh, have many beaches, uh, beautiful beaches. Yes, there are many in India. And, uh, do you frequently go uh, there or, or not? Do uh, you don't like uh, to go to the beach? Yeah, I like to go but they are very far away from here, from my uh, city. Like maybe 1,500 meters from here. One thousand to 1,500 kilometers away from my city. Oh, it's so far. Yes. So By plane is around uh, two hours? Yeah, yeah, two hours. Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. Okay, so it's nice because I, I, I can see a... Uh, there is a, like a top, uh, top 15 of the most uh, visited beaches in, in, in India. So, obviously I cannot pronounce the names, so just I can see the pictures and, uh, and I can see that uh, they are beautiful. They are uh, 
not different from here because they uh, it has a clear clear color. Uh, the color of the water is, is, is blue, so it's not uh, like an industrial uh, kind of beach, right? So I, I, it was uh, amazing to, to see another kind of beach because I am a I am big fan of the beach. So if I can uh, visit every beach that I can, I, I do it. I like a lot the ocean. Yeah, if you. Visit India. India is a very beautiful, city, a beautiful country. And uh, as I think I told you last time, it's a, it's a very big country. You know. Yeah, I can see it in the, in the map. Yeah. So I can see it. You need at least uh, three or four months if you want to visit the whole country. If you want to see the whole India, you have to uh, visit India many times, three, four, five, six times to visit the whole country. Yeah, this New York is it's a really uh, big possibility to go to, to India. So if I have the chance, I, I go to do it and I go to tell you. Yeah, yes, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, if, if you want, uh, we're, uh, we're not, uh, we can, we can uh, check the, the next question uh, tomorrow. Uh, I no, can no, have... Don't, don't, yeah? don't, don't go, don't go. We, we continue for the next yeah? five, five to seven minutes because I have already, I was away for five or seven minutes. So don't worry, continue. Okay. 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 If you don't, well, if you have yeah. no problem. My husband it doesn't uh, uh, arrive home because he's working, so I have five minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and okay. Uh, well, did, when did you go to the beach? When? Last, last time I went to the beach in 1997. 1997? Yes. Yes. A long time ago. Yes. I was quite uh, young that time. Uh, <laughs> 22 years back, you can say. So, no. that time. So, that time I was 32. 32. I was 32 that time. 32. This time I am 54. I'm going to be 54 on 22nd of September. 22nd, okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how did you say when, when, uh, when you are I am, um, uh, I'm going to be. Uh, be. Yes. I'm going to be for in, in, in September 18th. Yes. On September 18th. Yeah, I'm going to be 40. You should I don't I'm going to be 40. Yes. I am going to be 54. I am going to be 54 on 22nd of September. Okay. I am going, going to be 40. 40. Yes. Okay. okay. So in 1997, a long time ago. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't want uh, to go to the beach to go to to, uh, to the city. I prefer uh, I prefer the nature than the building because I live in a city full uh, of buildings. So I, uh, I, do, I I like to change the the, the environment, right? I also like to visit natural places. Yes, I like to visit. Mountains, rivers, waterfalls, all these things. Yeah, yeah. Not, not cities. No, I don't like cities. Okay, okay. so the next part is just a random question. So uh, tell me if, they, if I want good or bad. What, what, once again? Uh, uh, if, uh, the second part, uh, they are random questions. Uh, Please tell me if I want work or, or bad. Okay, what is your mother cooking right now or today? You just yes. add some uh, adverb like this. 
What is your mother cooking this time, right now, like this? Yeah. 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 So. Uh, yeah, that's if you want to, to be ready. Was it raining when you arrived home? Yeah, it's a good question. Was it raining when you arrived home? No, it was not raining. It was drizzling. You understand drizzling? It was drizzling. You understand drizzling? Uh, uh, drizzling, no. I never see it. I never see it. Drizzling means, yeah. raining means when it's, uh, means when you have a lot of water. Ah, okay. Water. But drizzling is very few drops and like this. Yeah. Sometimes when we eat to, to, to rain, right? It's like that. Yeah, yeah, drizzling. Yeah, drizzling yeah. means slow rain, you can say. In other words. Okay. Drizzling. Okay. So, uh, the third one. Uh, when will you send the mail? I am going to send the mail uh, in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Did you receive your Amazon package? Yes, I received it yesterday. Okay. If I, if, if I, if I answer a simple question, uh, Sentence, it, it could be just a day. Just that. What, what? What did you say? Uh, yeah, yeah, if I'm in, in, for example, in this question, did you receive your Amazon package? If I answer, just a day. I can say that, right? Yes, 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 I did. I shall, uh, I shall answer. Yes, yes, uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. Okay. No, uh, no, I didn't. I did. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was your last question? Ah, it's okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, why did the same program for now this month? Okay. Is it correct? Fell down or uh, went down, you can, oh, sorry, go down. Go down. Because you are using did so, first form of work. Why did the sail fall down or go down? Go down. Fall down or go down. Not fell. Not don't use second form of the verb. Okay. So why uh, okay, so it's in present. What do you mean? What did the sail fall uh, fall down this month or go down? Yes. But not in past. Yes, because you are using did. Okay, because I okay, because I, I use did. Okay. Did you tell him that he has to create create his purchase order? Did you tell him that he has to? Did you tell him that? Did you tell him that he had to, not has? Did you did you tell him? That he had to, not has to. Had? Yes, had to. Had past. Yeah, because uh, this is past beginning, so it should be in past. All the sentence it has to be in past. Yes. Okay. Uh, how much does it cost to buy these gloves? Yes, okay. Uh, how many friends did you have in the university? Okay. And when was the last time you met us? Okay. And we did you go to the party? No, no. We met us? No, 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 no. We met. We met? Yes, don't use yeah, us. Where, what was the last time we met? We met. Because I, I am using we, right? Yes. Okay, so when was the last time we met? Hmm. And did you go to the party? Yes, I yes I will. No, okay. I want. Yes. Okay, so uh, 